If you have a phone in your hand, you have access to the internet. And for whatever reason, you're watching this video, but you're not making at least 50,000 to a lakh per month in passive income. You're seriously missing out on something, my friend, but not anymore. Hi, my name is Zath Rachik, and I'm going to be sharing with you seven different ways on how you can create a passive income online. This is after trying and testing different kinds of methods myself personally, and after building a multi-crore business in the online space. So let's get into the mind map. And I'm going to start with the first method on how you can create a passive income. The first and the most effective method is creating your own digital products. And selling digital products because when it comes to digital products there is no question of manufacturing shipping handling logistics all that is not there and when it comes to digital products i want to break it down again into three categories of digital products the first one are if you're going to be selling ebooks okay ebooks where you're selling uh, any kind of knowledge information for ten dollars twenty dollars thirty dollars easy to create now you have many tools to create also and now with chat gpt and multiple other things it's very going to it's very easy to create textual content the second thing is if you're going to be creating mobile applications let's say you design an app and you put it up on the app store or the you know Google Play Store and you're going to be getting continuous downloads and you have in-app purchases, that is an awesome passive income stream. The third passive income stream is if you're selling any kind of software that you have created on your own. It could be some kind of a tool or some kind of a SaaS-based platform or a system or a subscription-based system where people, they access the platform and they're paying a monthly subscription. Now that's going to be creating passive income for you. So the first way to create a passive income is through digital products. And of course, you need some intelligence behind what is that product going to do? How is it going to serve the market? And how sticky is it going to be for people to come back and use that again and again, whether it's an app or a software, or even if it's an ebook, if they're going to be consuming it and if they want more. Now, the second way on how you can create a passive income is through digital marketing, but affiliate marketing and or selling other people's products. So when it comes to affiliate marketing, and I have three different ideas. One is you can sell other people's physical products. So for example, if you are an affiliate on Amazon, you can just go and search for Amazon Associates program and you can set up a free account and you can start promoting any of the Amazon products, whether it's books or gadgets or whatever and you can start making money without having a product of your own. The second way to create passive income through affiliate marketing is by selling other people's digital products. And this is how I also started. In the beginning, I did not have any of my products. I was promoting my mentor's products as an affiliate and I would be making commissions, okay, 30%, 40% commissions. My favorite affiliate income product are subscription-based tools uh, and SaaS-based tools. So for example, uh, I'm promoting a couple of tools like an email marketing tool, landing page tool. And every time people pay and renew their subscription, I'm making a passive income from that, okay? For example, I have a tool called uh, convert kit it's an email marketing system and i have referred thousands of people into it and every time they're renewing the subscription it's adding a cash flow to me okay and uh, as of now i've done multiple crores of revenues by selling other people's products as an affiliate besides my own now the third way on how you can make a passive income is through online courses the first part is you can create courses that are one-time purchase courses that means they buy it once they consume it and uh, you, you create a course of your own maybe it's a short course a mini course five rupees thousand rupees ten dollars twenty dollars fifty dollars hundred dollars anything under hundred dollars was what I would call as a low ticket, you know, one-time purchase based products. The second way on how you can monetize uh, through courses passively is by selling memberships. Now, this is what I'm doing in my community. Rather than selling it just as one course, I'm telling people, become a member of my community. And as a part of the community, they get courses, they get coaching, they get community access, they get access to a challenge and they get access to a certification. So there are five C's over there. And these five C's, uh, you know, makes it easier for me to sell the membership and that creates a passive income. So every day people are going through my websites, they're going through my automated webinars and I'm generating a passive income income by selling memberships versus just selling a course. And the third thing that you can do is you can also sell uh, automated courses. Like you have this cohort based uh, learning, you have these challenges, you know, people can buy a course, they'll get, they'll be able to complete a 30 day challenge or a 50 day challenge. But all of these challenges are delivered automatically. And the whole course is not opened up. It is happening through a drip sequence. So this is the third way on how you can monetize your knowledge and how you can create a passive income on the internet. The fourth way on how you can create a passive income on the internet is through drop shipping. Drop shipping is, you know, building your own e-commerce store. And of course, when it comes to this, I'm going to be bringing, giving you two ideas. First is, let's say you have multiple e-commerce stores on various specific topics. So let's say you go and source a particular set of products uh, from different places, which are catering to a particular audience. So let's say if it's going to be, uh, you're targeting only women or only mothers and something like, you know, uh, a care for mothers, a kind of an e-commerce setup. So mothers who want to uh, buy products as they're taking care of their children and stuff like that, you can have a store only for that. And maybe you have another niche e-commerce store which is only targeting entrepreneurs and looking at what entrepreneurs need so again based on the target market it could be different let's say you're targeting only teenagers and you want to create like an online gaming store where they can buy whatever they want so having niche e-commerce stores is the first way on how to create a passive income and the second one is to sell your own merchandise so if you have built a large enough brand like in my case i built a brand called internet lifestyle hub and if you search for ilet shop you know internet lifestyle hub shop we have our own merchandise and i'm able to create a passive income selling even physical products where the margins are not so high as digital products but i still create a 
passive income. So the idea number four is to uh, go into drop shipping and e-commerce for you to be able to do this. And you know, the best part is for me, my e-commerce store, I don't even manage it myself. I've outsourced it completely to a, a company that handles the, the manufacturing, the shipping, the handling, the logistics, and everything is taken care of. And I just get a report at the end of them every month on how much sales has happened, what are the charges, and what's the profitability and stuff like that, okay? The fifth way on how you can create a passive income is through domain flipping. Now imagine this is like real estate, but it's real estate with domain names. And many people have been successfully doing this for many years where you buy a domain. Uh, there are two ways to do it. One is uh, three ways, okay? One is you just buy domains that are cheap. So for example, if you see there's a trend happening or there's some celebrity or some actor who have not yet bought their full name or domain, you just buy it cheap for like $10, $12. And then you list it for a higher price, you know, list it for, you know, $5,000, $10,000. In fact, I have bought domains for $10,000, okay? I've bought like a couple of domains. I spent that much because I wanted that particular domain. Now, the person would have bought it originally would have bought it for like $10. And imagine it's like real estate. You're buying a real estate at a very cheap uh, price because, you know, you're getting it uh, without, you know, anybody else competing on that. And then when there's a demand in that, you go, you're going to sell it. Now, the second idea for domain flipping is also to auction and to set up auctions. And once you set up an account on GoDaddy or, uh, you know, uh, Namecheap or any of these platforms, you can actually buy a domain for cheap and then you can set up as an auction or even set up an auction site where if it's a very popular based uh, trend or something like that and uh, where the people can reach out to you and they can actually pick up your, your domain. And the third idea about this is also to do outreach. So if you want to create, you know, a really good passive income through this is by having a dedicated team who can do an outreach Reach. So for example, if you bought some celebrity domains and the celebrity, uh, you know, has not, they don't have the domain yet. Of course, it's with you. So you can get your team to do an outreach and email outreach saying that, hey, would you like to buy this particular thing.com? We have a special offer right now. Reply back to us if you'd be interested and so on. So this way, uh, this is like real estate where you buy cheap, sell high, but do it in a very strategic way. And there's another very powerful passive income strategy that many, many uh, people have been using. Now, the sixth way on how to create a passive income is through AdSense revenues. Okay. So AdSense is nothing but uh, you know, uh, registering with Google and whenever you are going to be, let's say you have a YouTube channel, even my YouTube channel, I have many videos. So people, they watch my YouTube videos and when the ads are being played and people click on those ads and they click on those links and stuff, I make revenues from that. Okay. And that's how you can also do. So let's say you launch a YouTube channel and you want to start creating revenues by uh, including advertisements in your videos. That's one way. And the second way to get AdSense revenues is by including banners and stuff on your own blogs, which is not very popular like right now as compared to what it was 10 years ago, but it still works. Okay. There are different networks. There's a whole, uh, you know, besides Google, there are other platforms called native ad platforms where you can go register on these platforms and as a, as an advertiser, and then you can list your blogs and your domains and stuff like that. And based on the number of people who are coming to those websites and the traffic, you can get paid based on the number of clicks. So that's another way to create a passive income. And I know many bloggers who've been able to create a, a lot of passive income just by setting up uh, the AdSense and of course creating really good content and getting the right people on their platforms. The last and final way on how do you create a passive income is uh, dividends from investing. So this is nothing to do with online based stuff, but let's say if you are an online investor, you're investing on these different stock market trading platforms. And if you're learning to do how to, how to do it the right way, it is uh, like uh, dividends that you're going to be getting back and the profits you're going to be getting through your stock market investing. And of course you have crypto NFT and that's another space altogether. And many people have been able to make uh, an awesome passive income during that the wave of uh, the crypto boom. And of course, now as I'm recording this video, it is not uh, you know in the high point right now, but there's always going to be ups and down and the the whole point of uh, dividends from investing has a lot to do with your ability to gauge the market your ability to move into market at the right time and to exit at the right time and also to learn from experts who've been doing it for a long time so these are the seven different ways as you can see here digital products affiliate marketing online courses drop shipping domain flipping adsense revenues and dividend from uh, investing these are the seven different ways on or different methods by which you can create a passive income now what i would like you to do is uh, type in the chat box on the comment box where if you're watching this on YouTube, Facebook, wherever, let me know if there are any other ways that you have heard of. And we would like to hear from you. And I would like to read your comments and also respond back to your comments. Now, if you'd like to learn more about this, and if you'd like to learn how to build your own digital ecosystem, like how I built an ecosystem of over 20,000 paid customers. And under that, I have courses, I've got coaching, I have affiliate marketing, I've built all of that. And I've been able to build at least 10 to 15 different passive income streams for myself. If you'd like to learn that, uh, please click on the link in the description and uh, you can attend my webinar. And at the end of the webinar, you'll be able to to, uh, join my community and also build something like this for yourself. Okay. There are many paths to achieving a passive income. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and watch it for more of this content in the future. All the best and catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.